you're watching NDTV Hindu. Welcome to Pet Tales. I'm sorry I sound so irritable, but sometimes teaching your animals a command to obey is just the most toughest thing. Watch. Jackie, sit. I've been telling you for the hundredth time. Sit, Jackie, sit. Sit down. Jackie, roll over. Jackie, play dead. Okay, we'll make friends. Jackie, shake hand. Please. Oh, doesn't listen to a thing I say. Jackie, you're such a cow. Well, that's kind of stating the obvious, isn't it? But no matter what Jackie doesn't listen to, she is as cute as 10 little puppies put together. And so are a lot of her friends. Let's go check them out. And Jackie has about 200 odd friends at the Sambhav Nath Goshala, though I doubt she knows that herself. You see, there are plenty of groups and gangs at this cow shelter. Most of them are quite sociable, but there are some who butt into humans, others who butt into fellow cows, and some, both. And these we observed from a safe distance. These guys don't have much to do all day except stand around and look sleepy, relaxed and highly chilled out. In true bovine fashion, they love chewing their cud, giving themselves a therapeutic massage with the help of stray poles, and occasionally nudging a neighbor for all the latest gossip. Most of the animals here have been rescued from a sure death at a butcher's or after being abandoned. Some of them are just really old and have retired here to enjoy some peace and quiet. The objective of the organization is to give a home, not just a shelter, to old animals, unwanted animals, abandoned animals, 90% of which are cattle, 10% are dogs and other animals. There were plenty of interesting characters at the Goshala. I asked Sadhana to introduce me to the most versatile, the most flamboyant and the most wonderful of personalities. And instantly she pointed out to a mammoth-sized bull, Sudhakar. Now don't let his sheer size scare you off. Sudhakar is as gentle as he is big. With horns that look like the biceps of the undertaker, you'd expect this guy to be one of those human butting bulls. But he is the incarnation of sweetness and as I discovered, loves to be tickled and scratched on the head. His most favourite thing to eat is jaggery. Sudhakar is calm and composed and loves to snooze under the fan just outside Sadhana's room and of course, close to his dear friend Santoshini. Now Santoshni may seem quiet and ladylike, but there is a streak of naughtiness in her that is revealed early in the mornings. Now she doesn't have any children, but that doesn't mean her milk goes to waste. In fact, each morning she has to be milked first, otherwise all of it disappears. Now I don't know how she manages to do it, but apparently somehow Santoshni drinks up all of her milk. Uh, now you don't want to think about that too much. Fortunately or unfortunately, we didn't get to see that. to the calf shed, which was simply a delight. One of those warm, fuzzy moments which happens so often on pet tails. These bright-eyed babies were all so curious. Each wanted to be petted and spoken to, and all of them wanted to be in the limelight. They all had their moment in front of the camera, and of course, said cheese. But two of them clearly stood out, Padma and Radhika. And that's when Sadhna told me that these babies were orphaned when they were quite young. But when they were brought to the shelter, they were adopted by Kanama, who then began to feed them every day. And what a sight it is to watch them run up to her. It's hop, skip and jump to mommy's side. And then it's all about the push, shove and tug until their bellies are full. so amazed by the bond they shared and that's when Sadhna told me of a very similar but even more curious case of Velian, the buffalo calf. Named so as he came to the shelter as an orphan on a Veli Kalimba or a Friday, Velian too was instantly adopted, you'd think, by a buffalo. 
but he belongs to Anukuti, another darling mother cow who feeds him every day. Now the buffalo shed is a lot messier and these guys just stand there basking in the sun and enjoying the damp earth. They are known to be a lot more aggressive and their humongous horns should have kept me away. But of course not. Sarah always chooses to act like a clown. Ha! Serve Sarah right. Then we met the infamous Morudu. Name says it all, right? Morudu had arrived at the shelter highly aggressive and very unapproachable. Over the years, with a lot of sweet jaggery and sweet nothings, Sadhna and the others have won him over. As we headed back to the cow shed, Sadhana stopped to introduce us to who she said was her handsomest bull. His father was imported and hence he looks like one of those bulls you'll find in the picture, grazing on an alpine mountainside. Gopi has a divine coat, smooth, lustrous and a shiny black and white. And how he loves his jaggery. Look at that tongue go. Hence it came as quite a shock when I was told that this great looking lad was born blind. I thought it so unfair, cruel even. But Gopi seemed happy and is surrounded by humans who love him. Till one o'clock, these people will be feeding them uh, wheat bran, Bengal gram dust, or then uh, black gram dust, then some mineral mixture. Evening comes and with it, the animals get to munch on fresh, crisp, sweet-smelling hay and get a cool drink of water as well. The youngsters get impatient and restless. They know playtime is almost here. Whilst the grown-ups unwind, catch up with friends or stare steadily into space, the young ones get to stretch their legs in an enclosed plot nearby. When let loose, unleashed rather, what a riot they cause. These boisterous little bovine babies run and jump in the most rowdy-like manner. But both humans and grown-ups turn a blind eye to their merrymaking. I'm sure they're all thinking, ah, the kids will sleep well tonight. They're crazy fun, oh my goodness, how they frolic and play. I'm dying to join them. I'm just missing a tail that I can hold up like that and those back heels that I can kick out. Washing is just as much fun. Your dog can donate blood and save another canine's life. Stay tuned for the Doggy Blood Bank.